all you Raspberry Pi owners out there, today I'm asking you to look into your crystal ball and tell me what you see. The Raspberry Pi is over a year old now. They've shipped over a million units and it got me thinking, what do you think the next year of Raspberry Pi will bring? Presumably the Raspberry Pi Foundation is working on some new stuff. We don't know what it is. And I've been wondering about that. What do you think the new version of Raspberry Pi will bring? Or what do you think they're working on? Perhaps it's not even a Raspberry Pi. Perhaps it's something else. Now, I have a few guesses. I wanted to share them with you guys and discuss them a little bit with you guys. And I also want to hear what you guys think. What do you hope to see from a Raspberry Pi? Or, and what do you think you're going to see from a Raspberry Pi? So first of all, they've got the Model A and the Model B. And the Model B adds a few features and has more memory. It has the Ethernet on it. Perhaps there's a Model C coming down the line, I think. Uh, what features would it add? Perhaps Wi-Fi, maybe a faster processor, maybe more RAM. Uh, what else could it add? Uh, I, for one, would like to see uh, analog inputs on the board so that we can have connect sensors directly to uh, the Raspberry Pi and some PWM outputs so that we can control things like hobby servos to do things like with robotics. I think those would be great things to see. And perhaps there's some design changes that could be made to the board itself. I would like to see uh, female headers on the board. I would like to see more headers and more GPIO pins so that we can do uh, just be switching more things. I, I think we, we kind of squeeze a lot into these and it would be great to kind of have a little bit more space to use. Um, but Raspberry Pi really is first and foremost an educational platform, so I presume that they're putting a lot of resources behind software. And I have a feeling that we're going to see some big software changes in the next year. I think Raspbian is going to improve greatly. I think it'll become much, much more friendlier and we're going to have more points of entry so that kids can learn how to use it and how to program with it. I think there's a lot of headway to be made in terms of software and I see a lot of people making great contributions to the software and Raspbian and, and helping each other out. I think it's that's one thing that a lot of people can contribute to to help make better. The hardware side is one of those things where it's like, eh, it's got to be the engineers at the Raspberry Pi Foundation to work on that uh, m for the most part. So I'm wondering what you guys think and what you guys hope to see in future versions of the Raspberry Pi. It's possible they could just keep revising the Model A and Model B, bringing small design improvements to it. And it's also possible that a Model C will come out with more features and be a little bit different. And it's also possible that something totally different could be coming out that's going to blow us all away. Who knows? Whatever it is, I want to hear what you think and what, what you hope for. And leave a comment and let us know. And let's talk about what we hope for from future versions of the Raspberry Pi. So dust off your crystal balls and let's talk about it. So I've been doing these uh, daily vlogs now for for eight weeks. That's 40 videos, Monday to Friday. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying them. I'm going to keep going on with these uh, daily vlogs. Let me know what you think of them. Leave a comment below or send me a message. I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing what you think of it. If you don't like it, let me know. I presume if you don't like it, you're probably not watching up to this point. But if there is any kind of uh, criticism you have, I do want to hear it because I want these to be better. And I think they can only get better from here. When I go and I look at the first video I did, I think there's a huge improvement between the first video and this one. And I'm getting a sense of what you guys want to hear. So let me know what you want to hear about. Let me know what you think, what I should be doing more of, what I should be doing less of. That's really important because I want you guys to like it and I want you guys to watch. So do leave a comment. Do send me a tweet. I'm Matt Richardson. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Bye.